opportunity like if you are very good at develop development then you can get into american express through this very good hackathon that american hi everyone this is arsh goel and today i'm going to start with a brand new series known as operation theater so in this operation theater in each episode of this operation theater we'll critically analyze one company in terms of its ctc in terms of its profiles in terms of its uh, work culture what are the processes of its recruitment on campus off campus what are the various questions asked in the interviews of those this company i'll also maintain a document that will give you each and every detail about the previous year questions being asked in this company in the coding test as well as in the interviews apart from that i'll give you some of the resume tips particularly for this company also we'll discuss uh, the ctc as well as the breakup for this company and the profiles this company offers So let's start with the first company for today that is American Express. So many of you might have heard of American Express as a very good brand but let me tell you American Express is a multinational financial services company headquartered in New York. If in India we talk about it has its uh, technology centers located at Bangalore as well as in Gurgaon. Um when we talk about like you might have heard of the names like Mastercard, Visa and Rupee. They have their uh, premium debit cards as well as credit cards. Similar to them uh, American Express also has its premium credit cards. So when we talk about the profiles it has for freshers it has particularly three profiles in software development category so first profile is software development technology the next profile is software development eda so here eda stands for enterprise and data analysis along with that it has one more profile that is software engineer uh, cfr it's credit and fraud risk so basically it has these three profiles and it hires full time as well as internship roles for these profiles like 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 for internship it has its two month plan as well as six months plan for pre final year as well as for final year so we'll discuss critically what these profiles are and what is the recruitment procedure for these profiles what is the coding what is the test online test for these profiles as well as the interview experiences of these profiles So now comes the most exciting part that is the CTC. So when we talk about the stipend for internship it has a stipend of around 70000 to 1 lakh it varies from college to college in some colleges it offers a stipend of 70000 per month as well as in some colleges it has a stipend of 1 lakh per month for the software developer profile. Next when we talk about the CTC CTC ranges from 13 to 17 LPA and the base salary is goes to 9 to 12 LPA. So uh, rest of the things are maybe joining bonus as well as the uh, variable salary. So now you know that it is one of the dream packages that it offers for software development profile. So let us come to the recruitment procedure. What is the recruitment procedure for American Express when it comes on campus? So let let me tell you like when it comes on campus the first and the most important criteria it kept keeps is of the cgpa so the minimum cgpa that it keeps in most of the colleges is around 7 cgpa and above next round is the online coding test so uh, they have their online coding test on a platform known as codility so this is a platform like it has some peculiar its its own qualities and features we'll come to that but let me tell you it has three questions from easy to medium level and uh, the major important like usp of this platform is that there will be some hidden test cases as well as there will be visible test cases so 80% of the test cases are hidden and only 20% of the test cases are visible so you need to uh, write your code it in a very correct way and submit it without seeing those hidden test cases so this is going to be be a bit challenging uh, and one thing more you need to secure at least 80% marks in this test so that you will be qualified for their interviews so when we talk about the interviews of a uh, software development technology profile so it has three interview rounds first two interview rounds are basically uh, tech interview rounds and the third interview round is hr as well as managerial interview rounds when we talk about some of the important things uh, with respect to the interview rounds of american express so the first important thing that you should focus upon is your resume your projects are one of the major things that american express focuses upon like if you have complete in depth knowledge of the project that you have listed on your resume apart from that some uh, basic data structure and algorithm questions like maybe a binary search tree heap sort uh, running median using heap sort and uh, some graph traversals some tree traversals as well as some uh, questions based upon priority use so these are some of the questions that have been asked previously as i have got to know from so many sources so the next check round is also similar to the first round maybe you will be grilled upon some uh, your projects and your resume and the most important thing comes for uh, the uh, for, for the interview rounds of american express is the puzzles so you need to revise the puzzles like uh, the r glass puzzle or any other puzzles like the mathematical questions are 
a bit more important when we uh, take care of American Express. The next round is the HR round and this is basically the normal HR round where you'll be asked about your location prefer preference as well as uh, along with that you will be uh, grilled upon your resume once again and maybe you will be asked some mathematical as well as puzzles in the HR round as well. This was about software development technology profile. So I also listed two more profiles that is software development EDA and software development CFR. So in these profiles, the test pattern is a bit different. So when you talk about the test pattern for these two profiles, so uh, you'll be asked, you will be having some multiple choice questions in the first round along with two very simple coding questions. So when you talk about multiple choice questions that will be asked for these particular profiles, they'll uh, constitute questions based upon your aptitude, your mental ability, as well as some questions based upon SQL and a bit of other uh, computer science fundamentals. So you need to be very quick and like crisp, crisp and clear of explanation of these MCQs is required. Along with that, the two questions that you will receive, basically these questions are based upon arrays, strings and recursion and probably you will be able to do these two questions. Again, the eligibility criteria for this is also 80%. You need to secure minimum 80% in the test to uh, get ahead with the interview rounds. In the interview rounds for these two profiles, that is EDA and CFR, there will be particular like you will be more grilled upon your puzzles as well as mathematical skills. Along with that, you should like there will be some questions upon guesstimate as well as uh, basic analysis of all the things and your resume should be a perfect fit for EDA and CFR profile. For uh, EDA and CFR profile, basically you will be having two tech rounds and one HR round once again. So this was the procedure when it comes on campus for high know more about the questions that it asked and the questions it has asked previously in its previous years and in various colleges I have made a document and I have given the link in the description below go ahead and check out the questions if you are able to solve those questions what are the questions being asked in the form of MCQs what are the questions being asked in the form of coding and both the profiles go ahead and check out in the description below now next when we talk about the work culture of this company it's the work culture of this company is very flexible like it would be a very good company to start your career with. Uh, flexible work culture means like you'll not be there for a 9 to 5 job but you can uh, either take work from home also. This is also a possibility in American Express. Also like the work matters the most. It is not like how much time you spend in the office or how much time you are devoting but at the end what matters is the work that you did. So from the point of view of work culture American Express is very good. You, it will give you a very good start to your career. So now you have got to know the entire on-campus procedure for American Express but if American Express doesn't visit your college don't worry it has a lot of off-campus opportunities available. So let me discuss what are the off-campus opportunity and what are the tentative dates as well as the months for these off-campus opportunity that American Express hires for. So the first and the most important thing is it has its online hiring challenges being conducted in the month of July as well as in January and February. So in this uh, online hiring challenges it's a coding test being conducted on Hacker Earth. So keep a track of hacker earth in these months you will be like uh, these ch challenges are both for internships as well as for full times the next important opportunity like if you are very good at develop development then you can get into american express through this very good hackathon that american express conducts in the month of august so this hackathon is known as american express code street so what is the procedure of this code street hackathon like i have also been a participant of american express code street and our team was in the top 12 finalists so let me tell you what is the most important thing in this hackathon is you you will be given some uh, problem statements based upon basically finance as well as retail and maybe some on uh, smart smart city so you will you need to submit an idea your idea will be shortlisted then you will work on the prototype your mentors will be signed and after that, there will be a final presentation and the top teams will be given direct interview chance with American Express for internship as well as full-time roles. The third off-campus opportunity that it has is particularly its diversity hiring event that is being conducted on Tech Gig and it is known as Geek Goddess. So in this uh, contest, basically the eligibility criteria is that the only female candidates can participate from pre-final year as well as final year. So uh, you will be given a coding test here as well. and. Those who will be shortlisted in the top uh, coding test, you will be given chance to interview with American Express for internships as well as full-time roles. So this was all about the off-campus opportunities that American Express gives. Maybe like uh, we might have some other off-campus opportunities. So stay tuned with me. I'll let you know about any other off-campus opportunities that American Express will come. So now that you have known each and everything about American Express, its recruiting procedure, on-campus, off-campus opportunity, let's come to what are the important tips if you are aiming to crack American Express. So first and the most important thing is to clear the online test and for that online test, the major hurdle that comes into 
picture is the Quadility platform. So just make sure that you are well versed with that platform and you submit the code in a very correct way. And because you are not able to see the hidden test cases, right? And the most important topics that we talk about uh, the previous year questions have been asked from the questions are from arrays, strings, uh, dynamic programming, as well as recursion. Also, from the point of view of interviews, you should practice a lot of puzzles. There are around 45 to 50 puzzles being there on Geeks for Geeks. Go through them and probably you will be asked any puzzles from uh, those 45 to 50 uh, puzzles on Geeks for Geeks. So these are some of the important tips as far as American Express is concerned. And now comes the important part of how you can curate your resume for American Express. When you're creating your resume for American Express, make sure that the projects that you list in your resume should be on your tips. You should be very clear about the databases that you use in your projects about the uh, total complete framework. Like if it's a group project, you should know what is your role so that you can convey it to the interviewer in a perfect manner. You should like have a clarity of thought. Along with that, you should like, the resume American Express asked for is not completely technical. You might have some leadership roles or you might have some um, extracurricular activities listed basically for CFR and EDA profiles. So that gives you a bit of edge in uh, the interviews if you are an all rounder and you have an overall scope in the college. So guys, I hope you have got a lot of good insights into American Express and this was the first episode of Operation Theatre series. If you like this episode and you are aiming to crack even more companies, we'll be bringing up with very good content in the future. So stay tuned with me and do like, share and subscribe this channel for very good content ahead. All the best. Good luck. Bye-bye.